Net zero is a scam. Hi, I'm Pete. Hi, I'm Sarah. And we're here from National Grid to answer some of the questions that we've seen across social media on the Great Grid Upgrade. You ready? Should we do yeah. the first? All right, here we go. What on earth is the Great Grid Upgrade and why do we need it? Do you want to take that? Good question. Uh, so the Great Grid Upgrade is the largest overhaul of the UK electricity network in a generation. And we need it because the energy we're generating is coming from different places. So we need the national grid to look very different and we need new infrastructure to facilitate that. What does national grid have to do with it? We are the uh, electricity transmission network owner in England and Wales. So we've got a really important role to play. It's our networks, which are uh, a big part of the great grid upgrade. Uh, they are effectively used to transport that renewable energy to every home and business in the UK. And I think sometimes people get confused by what the National Grid is. I know I certainly did when I was younger. Um, so it's worth remembering that National Grid just moves energy around the country. It doesn't own or generate energy. Next one. Let's do it. What's so great about the Great Grid Upgrade? Uh, I think we are on one of the greatest endeavours that I think humankind's known in dealing with the effects of climate change. I think the Great Grid Upgrade is great because it's looking at the opportunities, uh, looking not just at what infrastructure is required, but how do we get there? How do we get there in a way which can balance both the impact on those communities, the impact on the environment, and, and the impact on consumer bills? And number four, what do pylons have to do with net zero? Do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Pylons. Do you call them towers? I call them towers. I call them pylons. <laughs> There's a big pile on appreciation society out there as well, so uh, yeah. Let's, and pile on uh, of the day website. <laughs> there is, there is. Um, so pylons are really important to National Grid because they're the most efficient way to transport energy across the UK. Originally we built pylons in the 1950s and our grid wasn't fully connected. And by connecting our grid together, we were able to transport energy over long distances in a really efficient manner. And they're five times cheaper than using subsea cables. So Again, very cost efficient. Okay, should we move to the next one? Let's do it. Board number two of four. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I have to put up with pylons to send energy to other people? So we all need energy and pylons allow us to transport energy around the country. The government has set an ambitious target of connecting 50 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030. So that means energy is generated in new places and it needs to be transported around different places. By putting up with pylons, we are facilitating net zero and allowing our networks to be cheaper for consumers. So if, if an offshore grid is cheaper, why are you insisting on more pylons? Great question, one that we get quite a lot. Uh, and so an offshore grid is not cheaper. Uh, an offshore grid is more expensive. Our job is to agnostically compare all the different technology types. And we do that on every single project. Uh, and uh, when we look at, again, what the needs of the network, we have to balance the impact on environment, the impact on consumer bills, and also the impact on those communities that are going to be housing it. We have to look at all the trade-offs around all of those and then design the network uh, in an effective way. Isn't... All the energy from these projects going to London anyway. I think there's a common misconception that all the energy we move around the country goes to London. And London is a big demand centre because of the size of the population. But anywhere in the UK that is growing and is seeing the increases of electrification for heating and electric vehicles needs new infrastructure and needs an increase in capacity. So we all benefit from the Great Grid upgrade. It's impossible to rely solely on wind power. What happens when the wind doesn't blow? So the wind isn't blowing all the time and until we develop storage um, to deal with those intermittencies, we have a whole range of energy sources available to us. So we use nuclear, solar, and we also have interconnectors, which are subsea cables to mainland Europe. 
and that allows us to import energy when the wind is not blowing, but also export energy when we have surplus wind, mainly generated in Scotland. So we're not turning off people's lights when the wind doesn't blow? No, no. Cool. Net zero is a scam. <laughs> Energy companies should focus on their jobs. Our job is net zero, isn't I it? I think pretty much. I think, uh, why is it a scam? Like, we surely all want to live in a world where we're breathing clean air and we're using clean energy. I know for me, with my kids, I want to see them kind of grow up in a world which is uh, born on renewable energy and not the fossil fuel world we live in at the moment. Uh, I don't think it's a scam at all. I think sometimes people get confused about what net zero is, so it's the Agreed. concept that we are um, taking out equal amounts as what we're putting in. Um, so from a climate change and emissions perspective, we're balancing emissions and energy is really at the heart of that. So transitioning to low carbon generation through the Great Grid upgrade is fundamental to all industries in the UK. Scam. <laughs> Just want to say a big thank you for all of your questions. Really enjoyed uh, taking the time out to provide the responses. If you do have more questions, then head over to the Great Grid Upgrade website. <laughs>